couple of buttons right at the top of your menu. If you'll notice over here, I've got the desktop annotate and the desktop tool button. Both of these are often pressed without even realizing it sometimes. And what's ha what happens is kind of interesting. When you choose the desktop tools, it looks as if almost everything completely goes away. But you'll probably notice that when you go to your desktop, a little menu bar that ha just what's in the circle here looks like the um, hammer and wrench and the blue desktop background will show up. And when you select it, you can choose to do several things from within. The camera tool will allow you to take pictures from anything that runs through your computer and then to place it back within your, within your lesson. So if here I'm doing a freehand tracing picture and I can choose to put it right inside my lesson. Now if you're not meaning to do that, this top right option says return to flip charts. And then you go right back into your flip chart. And that image I just took is now brought into my lesson. The other tool is called Desktop Annotate. And what this does is it makes it look like everything from your toolbar goes away, your flip chart goes away, and just your tools are here. What actually happens is you have now got an actual overlay flip chart. It is a separate flip chart, and it runs kind of like an overhead projector being separate and going on top of your other programs. Now if you go back to your select tool or your cursor, you can still function in other software programs and move things around. Um, so you can still survive on Internet Explorer or Safari and move within uh, websites and then you can still draw and annotate on top of them and do whatever you need. You can still turn the page, go back a page, you can still use your clear tool to clear what you've done and nothing will change within the internet browser or within a, within a program. Everything's just kind of a, a desktop annotation overlay. Okay, to go back into your flip chart, you simply select the same tool again and you go back into your flip chart. Now another thing, if you'll notice up here in the top left corner, I've got all my tools that say File, Edit, View, Insert Tools, Help. They're all my, my basic menu options. Right over here at the very top corner, right next to where it says best fit, I'm trying to get my arrows on, okay, right next to where it says best fit, there's that little X. And if you select it, it goes to full screen. And now, if you'll notice at the top left, my menu options have all gone away. Now, if I want those to return, I can simply hit full screen again and they're back. If you find that this does not bring them back, you should be able to go to view and you should be able to have an option where it will say toolbar and mine's not there right now because my toolbar is showing but if your toolbar does disappear um, this is one way to bring it back another thing that you might do is uh, you might accidentally minimize the program now on the Mac it's the yellow button that will allow you to minimize and it will always appear in your dock and you can just be able to go down to your dock, whether it's on the left or the right hand side, and simply select on it again to make it expand. It should be the same way on PCs, except you'll have your little folder tabs showing what programs you have open, and you should be able to go down towards the bottom of your desktop and find the toolbar that shows um, the little minimized version of Active Inspire. Hopefully this helps you figure out some quick full uh, quick and helpful ways of fixing maybe something you didn't need to do or maybe you've learned how to use some new tools.